I'm loving how much more the world talks because of social media and I just wanted to get on the topic before it's a dead conversation. Should we be jailed for burning the American flag? I consider it a freedom of speech because why should I respect a symbol of racism, sexism, slavery, xenophobia, homophobia, transphobia, religious intolerance, and bigotry? I mean, we already see that many patriots don't even respect the flag as designated by the law of the nation that they glorify. The law stating that the flag should not be embroidered on such articles as cushions or handkerchiefs and the like, printed or otherwise impressed on paper napkins or boxes. The flag should never be used as wearing apparel, bedding, or drapery. So recreations of the flag on hats, shirts, beer holders, bumper stickers, all of these are technically illegal. Maybe this law was created to prevent obsessive patriotism, people who put too much energy into a symbol that gives it so much power. Flag fanatics are becoming a cult, which refuse to acknowledge the pain, the suffering, the trauma that the symbol of America has caused not just for American citizens, but for people all over the world. The American flag is a symbol of the dominance that corporations, political powers have over the hearts and minds of the people. Because if you are able to easily influence people with a symbol, you have them in the palm of your hand. We see obsession of the American flag everywhere, and it's lost its intended meaning of unity. The people are torn and divided. The flag has become a symbol of all its past negative deeds, racism, sexism, slavery, xenophobia, homophobia, transphobia, religious intolerance, and bigotry. And yes, even terrorism, recruiting Americans to commit genocide of innocent civilians and wars over resources, all casualties of American values. And yet some people defend the flag, saying that it stands as a reminder for those loved ones that lost their lives so that American citizens can be free, but not free from all of this. But we want to remember the death of our loved ones as being just and sacred, instead of them being used in a political game for power and dominance, dying for nothing more than a commodity. We are told that our loved ones died for our freedoms. But what about the freedoms of the First Nation people? Where are their freedoms? People of color are still trying to fight for their freedom within American borders. Women are still not treated equally. People are trying to control what others do to their own bodies through vaccinations, forced pregnancies, and even trying to control what other people do to their own genitals. Aside from Native Americans, all American citizens are non-native, yet there is violence against immigrants. They are mistreated, taken advantage of, used, tossed aside, separated from their families. So what about freedom? The freedom to work for jobs that pay less than a living wage? The freedom to be poor as the depleted earth that we walk on, which has been stripped of life and nutrients because of the freedom to commit ecological ruin for profit. America, a free country where we jail nonviolent political activists while political leaders pocket financial gifts for taking certain sides and supporting certain industries. The freedom to choose between two dominant political parties in a broken system where the majority of people don't even believe that their votes are counted honestly. Or maybe it's the freedom to die in unjust wars over resources, territory, and power which have nothing to do with the safety and well-being of the American people. Not all veterans understand why they went beyond America's borders to risk their lives, but many know that it was not for the freedom and comforts of the American people. Veterans are among those who get used and thrown aside, left with psychological trauma, diseases, and a failing body because of the experiments and the actions they are forced to participate in. My heart weeps for the people who still continue to suffer under the tyranny of American values, the families that are torn apart, and the unwilling casualties of just American wars. The American flag is a symbol which now stands for inequality, violence, deceit, and terrorism. Yet this symbol has captured the hearts and minds of those too proud to accept the ugliness and crimes of the American nation which we are collectively responsible for. Those in power use the flag as a symbol of their dominance over the American people. They fear their power slipping away as they witness the people taking back their power by renouncing the flag. 
Yet, there are many Americans that find comfort in their slavery because this illusion of freedom under a symbol of hate and greed is good enough for some, but I will not settle for less. We must move beyond this obsession for symbols of oppression. The American flag stands for racism, sexism, slavery, xenophobia, homophobia, transphobia, religious intolerance, and bigotry. It stands for dominance, power, and oppression. If this nation is to have a symbol that will last, we need a symbol that stands for peace, equality, unity, freedom for all, transparency, and truth. But we need a nation of people that actually stand for these values. And we don't need a flag in order to embody these values. Question why people glorify symbols of oppression. And let's think of peaceful ways that we can support the freedoms of all the people of this world. If you don't think for yourself, someone else will think for you. Live long and prosper.